What are we doing today? All right, cut. We don't need all that that music. I will fire it up. Oot, 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 oot. Uh, my name is Scott. I'm right on Mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for the right on mitigators. Those looking to get in the business. If you're a homeowner, stay and hang out. If you're looking for a mitigator, you want to go to www.nrsb.org. It's right down here at the bottom. Just plug in your zip code at that site, and I'll pull up a list of certified random professionals in your area. This video is more catered towards uh, mitigators, but by all means, hang out if you're curious. Um, today, we did a job. It was really yucky, you know, and I just want to throw a real quick tip out there to you when you've got uh, rainy days to work on. Rain plus dirt equals mud, and mud can really uh, ruin lots of things if you track it in the wrong places and rub somebody the wrong way. So this is just a quick tip. Cardboard, it's your buddy. we got a nice long run here where we had to schlep a bunch of stuff Know, to the back of the back of the home and cardboard saved the day and then right down here around the site you know it's just turned into a you know a yucky quagmire cardboard saved the day um, also you know putting in the ladder by the way do you want to see the radon system we put in okay cool I'll show it to you Ta-da! we used downspout on this one and this one today I'll show you it involved a sump pit so what we did was by the way uh, the customer had this existing thingamabob here that's why the outside uh, kind of has a lot going on right there and uh, lots of times uh, when the customer says yeah I've already got an existing hole for you that's usually more trouble than it, it is just to make a new hole on our own but you know I didn't belly ache about it to the to the customer but uh, at any rate, we made it work. Uh, just used mortar and, and we sealed it in with expanding foam and I think it came out looking pretty good. So, um, no gravel whatsoever under this slab. And this is a relatively new house, but uh, it's kind of an established neighborhood around here and that's the deal. No gravel. Um, however, this house has a perimeter drain system over there. If, if it didn't have a perimeter drain system, we'd be in trouble. We would need to use a high suction fan. We're going to start off today using a regular conventional fan. And, you know, I don't expect us to be making too much headway out of here, but I wanted to at least give it a shot and put a, a conventional suction point there. That's four inch pipe. And what we've done is we've, we've teed off of that into two inch pipe. And we are threading some needles. And by the way, I'm kind of proud of this transition, you know. If you'll notice, I use 90s reluctantly. Um, 90s cut off your airflow. There's, there's mathematics that prove that. I'm not smart enough to tell it all to you, but they just do take my word for it. So use 90s reluctantly. It can only help. And I think uh, 45s are actually cheaper. <laughs> but you make up for it because it takes a little more brain power to put them all together. 90s are simpler, I guess that's why so many people use them. Um, at any rate, here we go. Flowing through, over behind the furnace. You see there, like that. And coming back in. And so we're gonna tap into this. And I've made a couple videos about uh, sump pits and so forth. Ooh, that's a nice title, sump pits and so forth. So, this sump pit um, is, it was put in, you know, after, after the home was built, it's, it's a perimeter drain system is tied to it. All right, so you got corrugated pipe coming in right there. And you see that where the concrete's kind of different. And, you know, you get, get these guys right there. And then there's corrugated pipe down there. And then the system ejects the water way down there near that that big like oak tree um, so what we'll be doing today is I'm gonna clean the top of this and get a nice seal on it and I'll penetrate that and tap into that what I've already done is I've ordered this real nice um, sump pit lid and it's transparent and I just don't have it today um, the show must go on so we went ahead and did this and what I'll do is I uh, will We'll test it and I'll just come back when I pick up the test then uh, we'll 
put the lid in. And I'll show you that. Okay, the system is running and we'll come back and put the, uh, the legit lid in. Something to haul your stuff around is handy as well. And that thing folds up like an accordion, like that big, and I can just chuck it in the van. It's a great tool. Its intended purpose is to carry stuff to the beach. I've never actually used it for that. But actually, it was a gift to me for that purpose, and uh, it's coming far handier using it for that. And we are back. Um, the new uh, lid has come in and we're going to replace the old one and what I've done is I've not glued these pieces but I've marked them so we can put Humpty Dumpty back together again and uh, uh, have a nice smooth transition to the new top so here we go So crap, something went wrong on our measurements. The customer measured this at 19 and a half inches. So I just rounded up to 20. The, the increments for the tops are 18 inch and 20 inch. So I figured, well, 18 is not gonna be enough. So crap, I'm gonna have to cut this is what it boils down to. So uh, stuff happens and this is a real life channel and we have challenges and we overcome the challenges so what are we gonna do well thank goodness we've got this old top let's see what we can do with it so what we'll do is we'll trace the old lid onto the new lid and then we'll take a jigsaw and we'll, we'll just have to customize cut it to fit actually a marker I, I use a pencil for everything I, I don't like using markers but I think a marker would actually best suit for this application okay so can you see that so um, one tool that you should consider having in your van is a jigsaw you're not going to use it very often but they are really clutch tools to have for these cases like this okay so we've got a jigsaw we've got I'm, I'm gonna start off with the fine tooth um, blade Let's see how we did. Okay, so she fits pretty nice. As you recall, this is not glued, um, but we've got stuff marked. And so I'm going to notch out a little. So this right here, if you haven't seen my other videos pertaining to uh, these lids, I've only, I think I've got one. And so the way that, so this lid, by the way, comes with this, this access portal. And this stuff peels off and it's going to be completely transparent. Uh, what it also comes with is this cool thing, of course I don't have it open, it comes with this cool thing called a hyper drain. And it's a drain that screws in here, this is threaded, and uh, it allows water to pass through but air to not pass through. So it's pretty ingenious when you think about it. So, in case, so for for some reason, if uh, this place were to flood or water were to come through here, it could get through to the sump pit. And then this, the sump pump would eject the water. So it's actually more useful than the old one was. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy about that. And so now uh, we wanna get, this is of course our radon system and we wanna get this pipe down in here. So if you've seen my videos, Gosh, I keep saying that. If you've seen my videos, by the way, if you haven't seen them, why don't you subscribe to the channel? I've got tons of videos about this stuff. Um, so I've got a thing in my bob that plugs that that I use to find plumb. I just don't have one for two inch pipe. So I'm going to uh, do it. Just sort of make little cheat marks. I 
I could pull measurements. I think this will get us where we need to go. If it doesn't, I haven't glued it, so it's no big deal. We can easily correct it. And this is one of the few applications that I would use a marker for. Again, I'm not crazy about markers because they're permanent. Once you mark something, it's there forever and it stands out. For pencils, uh, you can rub them out or if you don't rub them out, they're not easily noticeable. You gotta kind of have to be looking for them. Again, I talk about that in my old videos too. Okay, uh, we can make that work. Okay, so what you just saw me do is I used a hole saw, about two and a half inches, two and five eighths, uh, something like that. A little larger than a two inch hole for PVC, and I cut that out. I notched this out right here with my jigsaw to accommodate the electric cord that runs the sump pump. And here is the hyper drain. So, made, uh, sold by Radon away. And the ingenious thing about this, here I'll undo it, it just, all I did was put some pipe dope around the threads. And you hear this rattling? It's like a ping pong ball, really. And um, all it's doing is, if water comes in the drain, it makes the ball float, and then allows the water to pass through. But while the ball's resting, it prevents air from coming up through the lid. So it's really simple and clever. And so we're just threading it in. You know, you don't really crank it down. Uh, I, I like to keep, you know, you want to keep it kind of flush with the lid. And so now we're going to uh, sort of dry fit it, so to speak. All right. Cord fits in the notch. I've got the access portal and Okay, so we've got a good solid dry fit. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this stuff off, commit to gluing these fittings. We'll be finished in no time. Hey, isn't that neat? All right, got the access portal. We got the uh, little notch out for the, um, the cord. And this will be the suction point. And voila, here we go. We've got the lid down. Again, this product is made by Radon Away. And they provide lots of stickers. I'm a big fan of stickers. The kid in me loves stickers. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't have too much information about the system, especially if, you know, somebody, if somebody comes along and mistakes this for plumbing, um, you know, we've done the best we can to make that stand out. But also, you know, I'm loving the transparent lid right there. Uh, you can see everything going on without pulling the lid. Yeah, I mean, clear as a bell, man. So that's your discharge line, getting water out. This, of course, is our suction point, and this is our access portal. Just pull that out when you need to. And so here's some really impressive stats about this hyper drain. I mean, it'll take water up to three gallons per minute. Uh, that's a lot. And of course, it'll still keep, uh, it, it'll take care of suction up to four on your manometer. That's, a, that's what that WC stands for. So that's a lot. What we've also decided to do is uh, just simply put a little Gorilla Tape around here. I'm, I'm really uh, wary or conscious of sealing these things super duper tight. Why? Because homeowners always find out that their sump pumps don't work when they need them the most. And that, that's exactly what happened to this homeowner. That's a brand new pump and they found out uh, during a big rainstorm when this perimeter drain system was being tested and lo and behold, their sump pump was out. So I want them to be able to get here in a hurry, rip it out and you know, tape's gonna seal it and yet allow them 
quick access should they need it. So recap of the system, primary suction point, secondary running around, making its way down here. Okay, hope you picked up something. If you did, want to smash that like button and consider subscribing. I drop lots of content here on the Radon community. Got lots of videos for you. So uh, see you in the next one. All right, take care, bye. Thank you, my